almost every game we made needs a lot of animations, starting from simple animations like moving a cube to do a lot of complex animations like uh, melee attack in video games. In this tutorial we're gonna learn how to create a powerful basic animation using the Lean Twin under Unity 2019. Lean Twin is a powerful animation engine for Unity. It's made by Dented Pixel and it's available for free in the Unity Asset Store. If you want to create an animated UI or an animated sprite in 2D game, you can use the twinning. Twinning means to move in between. So, a twin is an animation happening between two points. Lean Twin is a free twinning library delivered by Dented Pixels to help developers do their animations in an easy way. Now, let's go back to Unity and try to import the twinning library from the Unity Asset Store. Now our Lean Twin library had been imported, so all we need to do is to move this bottle from the first point to the second point. So let's try to create a new C -sharp script, let's call it test and let's open it in Visual Studio. Okay, in the start function, but before that we need to apply our code on our barrel. Just drag it in the inspector window. Now let's go back to Visual Studio. and the start function, we're gonna need to type the Lean Twin library before using our function. So we're gonna use the moveX function. This function needs three parameters. The first, it's going to be the game object. So it's referred to the game object we already applied our code so the second is the flow to to this is the new position that our barrel is going to go so starting from this position to 40 to for example 230 230 okay our new position is going to be 230 now it needs a new third parameter and it's time so in how much time this bottle is going to move so this bottle is go will take th uh, three seconds to go to go from the first to the uh, the first position to the second position now i'm sorry let's go back and let's put it in the initial position now as you see it's going to go in three seconds between the first point and the second. If we go back to our code and let's try to put 10 as a time. So it will be slower to go. It will take 10, second, 10 seconds to go from the first point to the second. Now let's select our bottle and let's remove the script component. Then let's try to create a new game object and let's call it easing manager this manager will control the float of all our game objects so let's cre create new c -sharp script let's call it easing manager and let's open it up on visual studio so here we're gonna just refer for our five bottles we are going to access for five barrels from the code. So we're gonna create the first barrel and just copy and paste the code to have five new barrels. Barrel three, barrel four, and the fourth, the fifth. Sorry. Now, let's just go back to Unity and let's uh, apply our code on our async game object okay now let's lock the view and let's sele uh, just select our barrel and move it in the y position then let's duplicate it 
four, uh, four more times. So three, four, and five. Now let's select the first barrel and drag it on the first slot, the second on the second slot, and the third to the third slot. Okay, instead of uh, applying our code on each barrel, our easing manager will control all the barrel's movements. Now let's go back to our code and let's do the same work we did it on the last uh, on the last uh, code on the test code but here let's just access our library lintween.move and let's move on the y position so let's move our barrel to the position 6 in 2 seconds let's just copy the code and paste it paste it uh, 5 times the barrel 2, then the third barrel, the fourth, and the fifth. Now, if we, uh, if we hit the play button, our five barrels will be on the ground on the same time. Now, let's go back to our code and let's, let's try to add some new uh, uh, methods. So, let's try to set the ease out bounce on the first uh, on the first barrel. Okay, as a method, let's save our code and go back to Unity. Let's hit the play button. Now our barrel, the first barrel, is going to bounce. Let's see it again. It is bouncing on the ground. Now on the second barrel, let's try to set an ease and out back. set is out back let's save and go back to unity and let's see the difference so our barrel will reach the limit but it's going to go further than back to the position to the sixth position so on the third one let's just try to and now to queue back Then let's try to use the uh, ping pong method. So our, the behavior of the animation is going to be like a ping pong ball. So let's hit the save button and let's go back to Unity. Let's hit the play button and let's see see how the third one how it's going to behave. It's no stop animation. It's going to stay like this. Okay, now on the fourth one, let's uh, okay. Let's use a, lin a linear a linear animation. Set is linear. Then let's use the ping pong again. So let's hit the play button and let's see the new behavior. So the fourth one is going to be more smooth than the fourth. That's the bonus uh, given by the line linear uh, movement of our ball. So the movement will be more, uh, more smooth. Now in the last one, let's just use the in out sign. Set is in out sign, and then let's try to use the same one, uh, the same method of the set ping pong. The looping big punk so it's a loop it's going to run every time it finishes it. it finishes so set loop ping pong let's save our code and let's go back to unity and let's see the difference okay the final one is going to be more smoother than the second uh, than the fourth it's a sign movement so thanks for being a part of our code uh, i'm shabby tafir don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in another video